not easy to overcome age. <laughs> you don't normally see mid 40 year olds swimming in Olympic Games, so that's why I kind of tease about being the old swimmer. Getting older is, of course, inevitable, but 45-year-old Olympic swimmer Dara Torres wants to stem the tide of aging to stay competitive in the pool. I'm very lucky that I have a coach in Bruno Darzi who, uh, even though he's young, uh, he really understands the body and understands the physiology of it. She's definitely gifted. She's able to accomplish what a lot of younger swimmers haven't had the opportunity to. The most difficult part of getting older is recovery and thinking that your body could do what it used to do when you were younger. Thinking that you can recover as quickly as you used to when you were younger. Thinking you could push through certain aches and pains that you have like you could when you were younger. Thinking that it was just so easy to come back and get in and start training and think that you were just going to catch on right away as compared to when you were younger. So there are a lot of different things that age sort of defies. I'm feeling it, but I'm just sort of pushing through it and just sort of push the limits and see what I can do. She's very professional. I mean, she takes everything she does very serious. I mean, this is, this is not just something that she loves doing, but uh, this is her career, that's her life. So what she tries to do is, is give herself the best opportunity she can uh, to compete at the highest level. Older bodies have less efficient lungs and hearts, which means less air reaches muscles, making them less powerful. Muscle mass also decreases with age. Ligaments and tendons become less elastic, and muscle fibers become jumbled. Older bodies also naturally have a lower water content, meaning less flexibility. You know, my body can only handle so much. My training in the pool isn't even as much as I did leading up to the 2008 Olympics. I'm really concentrating on one event now, not two. I came from the old school where the heavier you lift in the gym, the stronger you'll be in the pool, but really it's the most efficient you'll be in the gym, you'll be the most efficient in the pool. Torres' trainer, Andy O'Brien, designed a set of complex, high-velocity workouts that he believes will keep Torres flexible and maintain her muscle by flooding her brain with sensory information that stimulates muscle-building hormones. When people walk by and see me in the gym, they're like, what is she doing? You know, it doesn't look too bad, and they try it and they can't do it, so it's kind of funny. Older athletes may need to train differently than younger upstarts, but age has a few distinct advantages for competitors. Torres is more mentally prepared than perhaps any other swimmer she competes against. She's physically really strong for a swimmer. She's physically strong for a 44-year-old woman. She's mentally stronger than most human beings. The mental aspect has changed a lot for me um, over the years. I feel like people made such a big deal about my age in 08, but they didn't realize that I had so much more experience than everyone else. I'd been to more Olympics than anyone else. I knew how to deal with the pressure. And so I feel like age, in a way, at least mentally, worked to my advantage. I don't think she's going to do it again for years from now. I think, I think this would be it. And, and hopefully we can, we can help her achieve what she wants to achieve. In the 1992 Olympics, I was 25 years old and they called me the grandma on the team, so I didn't want to think what they call me uh, and, you know, from the 2008 Olympics and hopefully the 2012 Olympics. I don't think there's a word for it. 